Welcome to an emergency lighting design video from ABB Emerger Light. We're looking at BS5266, which is the British standard for emergency lighting, and in particular the requirements for testing. By law, the person responsible for the building is also responsible for making sure that the emergency lighting is tested and maintained correctly. This is something which is stated in the fire regulations. The requirements for testing are a daily visual check of the LED indicators, a monthly function test and also a complete system test for the full duration once a year. The results need to be logged to comply with BS5266. The testing can be manual or automatic. Manual testing requires a competent person to walk the site, disconnect the local supply to simulate a failure, check the operation and then log the results. This can be intrusive and also very time consuming, especially if access is limited. Therefore, a number of automated solutions are available, which not only help meet the testing requirements, but can also help reduce the inspection costs. Let's have a look at this emergency lighting system. With automatic testing, the luminaires are addressable and respond to instructions from a front-end control. A data connection to the luminaires allows the system to communicate and carry out the testing automatically. Complete records of test data are retained in a format that complies with the BS5266 testing requirements. This can be presented to the fire authorities for inspection. Emergerlight offer a number of automatic testing solutions, including MX Test for central power systems. This is available as a door-mounted touchscreen option. It allows any luminaire, including mains lighting, to be part of the emergency lighting and be incorporated into the automatic testing system. For a self-contained system, the Naveo provides local control on site, as well as secure remote access to maintain and manage emergency lighting for multiple sites through a simple web interface. This means before going to a site, we can check the status and find out what all the faults are. Both systems are designed to run automatically and meet the testing requirements. Hopefully you found this useful. For further information, please visit our website.